Hey there guys, it's Paul Archer from dronesgear.com and I'm really excited for the new drone from DJI, the Mavic Air. Unfortunately, mine hasn't arrived yet. But there are a ton of comparisons and video reviews already online from some of my top YouTube reviewers. I've seen many different angles of comparison and different opinions, so I thought I should bring all of this together in one video and give the respective credits to the original makers. There's links to all their channels in the description. The new Mavic Air is basically the child of the Mavic Pro and DJ Spark. I have them both and I must say DJI drones are supremely high quality. Now let's start with the unboxing. Casey Neistat, one of the most popular YouTubers, went quickly through the entire unboxing, as usual, underlining the fact that he's rather more interested in the drone itself, and I must agree. But let's see what's in the box anyway. I Justine is a big DJ fan, as she herself said, and because she got the Fly More combo, there's a lot of gadgets in there. The new Mavic comes in three colors, red, black and white. My personal favorites are the red and black. In the box there is the controller, which at the first glance looks more like the Spark one, with no LCD and removable joysticks. A power brick and surprisingly enough an USB-C charger, in case you lose the original ones, and a connecting cable for the controller both for iPhone and Android. There's also prop guards and extra propellers, as it should. Then, finally, she opens the very high quality bag that the Mavic Air is in. What I would recommend you to get is the DJI Mavic Fly More combo. If you get it from the DJI site, it will come with three total batteries, compared with the one for the standard package. More propellers, a battery charging hub that supposedly charges up to four batteries at once, which is super cool, the travel bag and a battery to power bank adapter which is going to mean a ton of road battery guys. I'll leave a link down in the description both to check iJustin's video and to check the prices for the standard Mavic package and the Fly More combo for the Mavic Air. Another popular YouTuber, John Olson, you probably know the guy, has put the facts straight on the table. And what I mean by that is that he compared the sizes of the DJ Spark, the Mavic Pro and the new Mavic Air and it's pretty incredible how small the new Mavic is. It's actually even smaller than the Spark when folded and like twice as small as the Mavic. I usually talk about the transmitter of a drone about now in a standard review, but this is no standard review and I know how much you guys want to know about how the camera films. Fortunately enough, our friends on the internet have blessed us with a lot of 4K footage of the new DJI Mavic Air, so please go in the description and watch the original videos if you want to support them. I was talking earlier about John Olson and he has taken a few shots with the Mavic Air, both graded and ungraded, which is very helpful to see what potential this drone has. What I noticed at first glance is that the camera moves very smoothly. DJI has put a 3-axis gimbal stabilized camera on this one, which will make videos way better than just recording with a DJI Spark for example. This shot with the boat is taken in very low light conditions, but as you can see the noise is very low and the image isn't losing quality when color grading. Don't forget to watch this in 4K if you want to see a better image quality. I can say the image is a little less sharp than my DJ Mavic for example, but that might be a good thing and probably something that can be adjusted from the settings if you so please. I'll get back to the footage right away, but first let's see a few camera specs and how they compare to the old Mavic. iPhone 2 has lately been my favorite reviewer on the internet and I usually can't help but crack up at his in the face humor and his intro is goddamn amazing like every time. Just look at that fog and those sexy Mavic lines. He's also doing a size comparison with the Spark and Mavic. Again, it's incredible how much performance they've been able to put in such a small frame. Yes, this means you can do slow motion video in full HD resolution. His slow motion video looks a little soft and not that well lighted. That has probably something to do with the cloudy sky too. But the smoothness is on spot. He also mentioned that the camera has fixed focus, so no more autofocus issues like when the old Mavic has been released. I can't believe I'm saying old Mavic already, the release date for this beauty felt like it was yesterday. A super useful feed that I haven't seen around in any drone is the fact that it comes with 8GB of internal storage that will do wonders for when you have forgotten the SD card. Let's go back a bit to Casey Neistat, remember him? He's gone to the Bermudas just to compare the Mavic Air with the Mavic Pro, Phantom 4 Pro and the DJI Spark. 
As you can see in his shot over here, there is a slight sharpness difference between the Mavic Pro and Mavic Air. The DJI Spark is obviously inferior because the camera is only 1080p and because of the two-axis stabilization. The comparison with the Phantom 4 Pro is actually pretty damn amazing. The Phantom 4 Pro has brighter colors, but that's probably because the Mavic Air actually has a flatter standard color profile, which is very good for post-processing editing. Can't say enough good things about this drone, but it's enormous and it's very hard to travel. Also, a thing that I noticed in this video is the absolutely amazing stabilization. Look at this shot, how stable the drone is just hovering in a spot and how clear the image is close up. What I have noticed as a difference between the new and old Mavic is that the Mavic Pro is a lot choppier than the Mavic Air. And not only on Casey's video. Hope you can see better if I go closer. Speaking about getting closer and zoomed in, iPhone Duo has a wonderful comparison between the Mavic Air, Mavic Pro and Spark and he also zoomed in very closely. As you can see, the spark is blurry because of the low resolution, but at a 500% zoom in, the noise is actually worse on the Mavic Pro than on the Mavic Air. That probably has a bit to do with the improved bitrate. Tom from Tom's Tech Time is also making an important note regarding the improved bitrate, putting it in line with the more expensive DJI Phantom 4 Pro drone that we don't even have on the table today. It is more expensive, it is bulkier, it is bigger. Overall, this higher bitrate of 100 megabits per second is going to be very useful for people who edit their videos later in post-processing and also to usually get more information from what you shoot. At first, I wasn't really sure if I was going to show you the next footage because the location was so impressive it will blow your mind. fun for lewis has uploaded a video showing the insane video capabilities of the Mavic Air. As you can see, this place is rather gorgeous and the drone also seemed to have powered through some strong humidity in the air. Very nice detail, Louis. He also made a nice side-by-side -side comparison between the Mavics. The new DJI Mavic Air seems the definite winner in this case. But it seems to me that he might have forgotten his exposure a bit too high on the Mavic Pro as things seem a bit too bright. I think this should be enough information about the camera specs and capabilities. Let's look a little bit into what other things the drone can do and then let's all reach a conclusion down in the comments. The new controller comes with a better phone compartment that should fit phones with cases now. As iPhone 2 is showing us here on this beautiful red background. Well, the joystick mechanism seems different and it feels nice and firm in hand, which is of course what she said. The drone itself has forward and backward sensors, which will be very useful for when taking shots and flying backwards. It seems to also be the fastest of the bunch, reaching up to 42.5 miles per hour or 64.4 kilometers per hour which definitely got him very excited. And me too, because I know how nimble the little spark is and that size compared with a faster speed than the original Mavic is going to transform it into flying Tasmanian devil. Apparently the range for this new drone is about 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles, which is quite a lot better than the DJI Spark, but a little worse than the DJI Mavic Pro. Let's not forget about something rather new that hasn't been seen in DJI drones before. It is called the APAS, also known as the Advanced Pilot Assistance System, which basically allows the drone to avoid front obstacles instead of stopping before them like the other drones. Another smart technology inherited from its mother, the Spark, yes, that would make the Mavic Pro its father, are the palm control modes that are similar Jedi-like gestures like the one we've been used to. I will be going into more detail regarding this and more when my DJI Mavic Air arrives, so stay tuned for that. What I've noticed from the online reviews I saw and my own experience with DJI drones is that the other types of drones from DJI usually tend to have very fragile cameras. It's not anymore the case with the new Mavic Air. The Air comes with a solid camera that is also protected by the surrounding frame and a one-piece gimbal cover that is definitely the way to go. Although Kiss didn't really seem to like it very much. He was never big on safety anyway. The new quick shots and flight modes are pretty impressive, along with the standard ones, of course, and a very good auto follow it seems. But the most impressive one by far has been demonstrated by iPhone Duo and is called Meteor. Just look at that, it's freaking amazing. Also, precision landing seems to be the most precise. I really haven't ever experienced such a precise return to home with any of my drones, be it DJ Mavic, Spark or even the Xiaomi up here. 
So the old Mavic so far has better battery life, it's 27 minutes versus the 21 minutes of the new Mavic, and the screen on the controller might also be useful if the DJI app crashes on you, and you may want to get some telemetry data displayed. I completely agree with these valid points. But I'd say that in every other aspect I would totally get the new Mavic Air. If you have to choose between the two Mavics, do not hesitate and get the new Mavic Air. If you really want an upgrade, then you can sell your current Mavic, maybe put $100 more, and then you can get the Fly More combo, because yes, this new drone is cheaper. I have links in the description with the official prices from the DJI website, and also a link where you can compare the new Mavic with the old drones from DJI, so you can decide which features you like best. Many thanks to the reviewers mentioned in the video. I'll also leave links down in the description to their respective videos and channels, so go and check them out to support them. And again, if you want to see more information on the new DJI Mavic Air and want to see what are the coolest and latest drones in any category from toy drones to racing and camera drones like this one, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you are the first one to know. Please leave a comment down below and choose between the old Mavic and the new Mavic Air. See ya later, alligator! See ya later, alligator.